Put a mark for 2029. Germany prepares for possible war with Russia. Build. Germany is actively preparing for a possible war with Russia because it believes that by 2029 optimal conditions will be created for Russia to start a war with NATO. Build reports citing a statement by the Inspector General of the German Armed Forces, Carsten Brewer. You must put a mark in your diary for 2029. There is still a lot of work to be done by then. We must be ready too, he told young soldiers speaking at a military school. He also believes that in five to eight years, Russia will have about 1.5 million soldiers. This is approximately twice the number of troops deployed by Putin in Ukraine. At the same time, the publication noted that the Bundeswehr currently has 181,500 soldiers, which is 20,000 less than the target number of 203,000 soldiers. Therefore, the German authorities are considering the possibility of reinstating compulsory military service. In addition, BILD analyzed the military equipment reserves of two countries. According to the publication, Germany has less than 300 battle tanks, while the Russian Federation currently builds about 1,500 battle tanks per year. The German army also has a record low ammunition supply, which is enough for only two days. It is noted that this is a violation of NATO requirements, according to which ammunition must last at least 30 days. The government has already developed the operational Plan Germany, a document that describes how the military architecture of Germany should be built before the start of a possible military conflict. Germany's main task is to ensure the deployment and supply of fuel, food and medicine to NATO forces, BILD reported. As reported earlier, President Vladimir Putin attacked NATO with threats. The Russian leader's spokesman Dmitry Peskov once again accused the West of the fact that the bloc is de facto fully involved in the conflict in Ukraine. At the same time, the alliance's Secretary General, Jens Stoltenberg, believes that Russia will not attack NATO now because it is completely immersed in the war against Ukraine. We do not see any immediate military threat against any of the allies since Russia is now fully immersed in the war against Ukraine, he stressed. U.S. wants to take out Russia's Baltic fleet, military expert. NATO forces intercepted Russian Navy ships and aircraft near the alliance's sea and airspace. Germany said Eurofighter Typhoon fighter aircraft on a NATO air policing mission scrambled to identify two Russian MiG-29 jets off the coast of Latvia, according to a brief statement by the Luftwaffe. The pair of Russian fighters were flying in international airspace over the Baltic Sea without a flight plan or contact to civil air traffic control, the German Air Force said. Earlier, Dutch Navy Commander Vice Admiral René Tass said three Russian ships were escorted through the Netherlands' exclusive economic waters extended 200 nautical miles from the country's coast. NATO members surround the Baltic Sea on all sides. Warships of the Russia's Baltic fleet garrison in Kaliningrad, an exclave between Poland and Lithuania. Their movements to and from the North Sea and the wider North Atlantic Ocean are closely watched. In this case, Russian military expert Alexander Stepanov says that United States is seeking to destroy Russian military infrastructure, especially its Baltic fleet facilities, as it moves to deploy long-range fires units in Germany. Washington and Berlin said in a joint statement that the U.S. would begin deployments of long-range fires capabilities in Germany in 2026, which have a significantly longer range than current land-based fires in Europe. Germany is obviously just the beginning in this hybrid architecture of the offensive circuit of missile weapons. Given the accession of Finland and Sweden to NATO, the threat to the Baltic and Northern fleets will only grow, said Stepanov to TASS. Meanwhile, he said the strategic goal behind the deployments would be to destroy military infrastructure in European Russia, 
especially, specifically, Baltic fleet facilities in the Kaliningrad region, a Russian exclave on the Baltic Sea, as well as industrial hubs and the power grid system across northwestern and central Russia. One thing is clear, the United States is trying to keep the fabric of the NATO alliance together by any means in a show of commitment to the alliance and willingness to make a key contribution to integrated containment in Europe, the military expert concluded. Russian ambassador to Washington Anatoly Antonov said that the US plans increased the likelihood of a missile race and could lead to uncontrolled escalation.